Good afternoon, world. This is Ivan Amaris. I decided to do one final vlog today. Today is going to be a simple one. Ivan, go to the bar again. No, I can't afford to go to the bar as I'm running out of cash. I have to pay back Welfare Quebec. So tomorrow I'm going to transfer, take out $80, and I'm going to use that to pay off Welfare Quebec. I'll pay $80 a paycheck towards the 720 and towards the end of the year I'll pay them off. Because if I don't pay them off, They'll, they'll take my tax money, which I don't want them to do, right? Hence why I have to pay them off. Hope you guys enjoyed my bar video. I mean, that was a sick video, yeah. My best video yet, obviously. And tomorrow I'm going to continue with the Black Sea Gary Deserve. So I'm going to head to Vrivial J Park. It's a beautiful park. Uh, when, I, when I played soccer, I played in that park. Um, Vrivial J is probably the, one of the nicest parks in Elmer. Not the Colleen Park, the one I passed through. No, it's, it's a bigger park. I'm going to walk there and I'm going to sit down on the bench, have a smoke, and I'll talk to you guys about the topics. This guy throws my transformation topic, all that stuff. So I'm doing this one video to keep you guys happy. Hope you guys can see me. I'm not going to put the camera like this as you can't see me well. I'm going to put the camera like this so you can see me. What's there? Ivan, what's your favorite vlog you made though? The bar one. The bar is my favorite one. And second is probably my Gabriel's one. Oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> my second's probably the, uh, there's a guy who just popped out of the garbage bin, that was creepy. My second's probably the Gabriel's one. The Marina one I liked a lot, but it was too dark, you couldn't see me. Had, had, had it not been dark, the Marina one probably would have been up there for me. Because I would have showed you guys the, 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 the Marina, everything. I even walked there now, no, I'm not walking there, it's too far, I'm tired. I just finished work. I'm not walking all the way to the marina. But you guys would see how beautiful the marina is when it's light. Was when I went, it was too dark. I couldn't see shit. Yeah, so I'm now heading behind the library. You guys are familiar with this place. The Adelaide is right there. You guys are now familiar a little bit with Elmer, right? Right behind this building here, that's a library. That used to be the Elmer Cinema, obviously. And this is the bar. The bar is like right here or right there. This is the back entrance of the bar that I went to yesterday, obviously. I have an hour bar, it's a nice bar. Yeah, it's a very nice bar. We have slot machines. I mean, how much bars are they in Elmer? Uh, four, four bars. You have Elmer Ship, a turn Elmer Bar. You have the British Pub. And you have uh, La Grass, La Brass, La Brass. And then you have the one at Chateau Cartier. The one, there's a bar at Chateau Cartier too. Chateau Cartier, they have a bar. I heard that the hotel isn't that good though, but that's where I'm going to stay when I, uh, my fa uh, when I see my father and goodbyes to Elmer. Before I see VJ, right? In, in Los Angeles. I'm gonna spend my final 10 days there. Or I can go to a better hotel in Ottawa. I can stay at the Chateau Laurier, but I mean, I wanna stay in Elmer. So this is where I grew up. This is my home. This is where I grew up, obviously. So you guys are not familiar with this place? Yeah, you guys are familiar, obviously. Idle Ed's right there. The black building's right here. The plaza with Snack Shack and all is over there. I'm gonna walk straight to the Vivial J Park. And I'll make a video for you guys and uh, I'll come home and enjoy the show with you guys. Yeah. Fucking tired. I just finished work, man. Do you work tomorrow, Ivan? I don't know. I probably do. I don't know. I'll text my boss to see if I work tomorrow. I'll text him tonight. Do I work tomorrow? He'll text me back. Obviously. So we're now heading straight. to the Vrivial Park. You used to hang out there, Ivan? Yeah, I've been there a lot. When I was younger, I used to hang out there a lot with my friends and my so-called friends, yeah. When I was like 10, 11, 12, I used to go to Vrivial It was fun.
I could have went home and rested for a bit, but I knew if I went home and I rested, I would have sat down. I would have been lazy to walk out. So I said, okay, once it's done work, I'll just go to the park, get the video over with, and then I can go home. And uh, you guys will enjoy the show with me. I mean, that was sick, your bar video, yeah. The hot uh, bartender was there. You guys didn't see her, though. I put the camera towards her a little bit when I when I show you the bar, but you, the focus was not as good. You couldn't, you couldn't really see her. But she's hot, that chick. She's hot. She gained a bit of weight, though. She looks a bit thicker. I'm like, what happened, man? She still looks... She's still hot, but she, she gained a considerable amount of weight. I noticed, obviously. I mean, you think she's hotter than Emmanuel? Well, it's like back and forth. You could argue she's hotter, but I mean, it's a back and forth thing with her and Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel's hot too. I saw her with his people, she's hot too, man. Yeah. Her personality might be more attractive than, than Emmanuel's. Emmanuel might have more of the looks. You can argue if you want, but I mean, it depends on your taste. So I'm going to walk straight, and it'll lead me to the uh, Rivergé. See, this area here I'm, leading, I'm coming up is lo lower class and lower class people. These people are not that rich. I have an Elmer. You, have, Elmer, you have like these different classes. It's weird. You have areas where the middle, pe middle class people live, my area. And you have the other areas where it's like upper class. And you have the middle class, lower class people who make like 40K. Yeah. The houses near Rio uh, uh, those people are rich. Those, that's, that's middle class. But the houses, the, uh, this street leading up to Rio is like lower, it's a lower class neighborhood. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I hit the street. We're not hitting the street. I'm walking straight towards Rio Ivan, where's the park? Right at the end of this street. The street coming up, that's Real J Park. It's quite a long walk from here. Yeah. Is it far from your house? I even know. It's like a five minute walk from my house. Yeah. Real J is like a five minute walk from my house. It's not far. You see? You see how the houses here are not as nice? Yeah, these people are not as rich. These are poor people who make their like forty five thousand, forty thousand dollars a year. These houses here. So, Sarah. so you have like different classes in, uh, in Elmer. It's actually funny. Well, every city has different classes, right? Yeah. The people who own Elmer Cinema, they live right here in this house. Or they don't live here anymore. I don't know. This is a nice house, but they used to live here. They're obviously pretty rich people, obviously, right? They own the Elmer Cinema. They live right here. I don't know if they live here anymore. These are the houses in this street. You see how they're not as nice? Yeah, it's a poor neighborhood here, obviously. Yeah. So the park is right at the end of the street. That's the Rivalier Park. Your people speaking French. <laughs> Fucking Frenchies. I'm getting out of this Quebec place. <laughs> yeah. Man, if I can't feel my legs, my legs are dead right now. Fucking tired. And that's all I'm gonna keep saying. So after four years, I am done. I am done with this dishwashing crap. I am done. When we left the Coco Footy Boss, no. Once the gatekeepers officially sent me upstairs, I will. I, I know. I now know. I'm gonna pay the fee. I will let them know. I'll give him a two weeks notice. Okay, I can work for you for two weeks. I'll pick up my last check. I'll work for you for two weeks, pick up my last check, and I'm done. 
You can tell it will look like shit, obviously. He'll be demonized, obviously. He doesn't want to be with Vijay, obviously, and me being king. But he's also going to flight shit. Fuck, man. After Ivan pays his feet, he's going to be living that life. Yeah. There's another park here. This park is not that nice. It's not a nice park. I like the park up there. It's nicer. VLJ is probably my favorite park in Elmer. Yeah, it's probably my favorite park. It's a beautiful park. It's a French, it's a park of a French school, right? The pri there's a primary French school right here. Yeah. We almost there, Ivan? Yeah, almost there. We're now heading up the street to Vierge Park. You can see a glimpse of the park from here. That's the Roger Park. It's beautiful, huh? Can't really see it now, but it's quite a walk walking up the street. It's tiring shit. Right, we now arrived at the park. I used to come here late at night sometimes, like one, like one o'clock, twelve o'clock. I sit down in the dark park and I bet you have a smoke. I used to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's a big park, Ivan. Mean, yeah, it's a massive park. It's the park of the French primary school, Rivelge. It's a French primary school. And this is the, uh, the, the schoolyard. It's huge. Yeah. This is the park, guys. See that soccer field? That's where I played in. I played soccer when I was younger in uh, Elmer League. In the Elmer League, the Elmer Competitive League, and uh, I, well, this was our home field. We got soccer. I mean, I was pretty well. I was I was pretty good because when I played when in the league, when I when I played soccer in the league, obviously they had three divisions. They had Div three, Div two, and Div one. Div one's the best, the best division. And I, I went to the tryouts. I killed the tryouts. And they put me in Div 1. But I didn't really do that good when I played soccer, obviously. I did okay. I'm pretty good at soccer. I'm not bad at basketball. I'm good at football. But sports is not really my thing. I'm not... Really, I'm, uh, sports is not really my thing. I'm more of an art guy, right? But I made it to Div 1. My youngest step brother, he joined the same, the same year as me. And he, he made to Div 1, I made to Div 1. My oldest step brother played in the league prior to that, he went to Div 2. He made to Div 2, whereas me and my oldest step brother went to Div 1 when we played soccer. And eventually we all got into football. We forgot about soccer, we all ended up playing football, obviously. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is the, uh, what? The Vieux Valjean Park. That's the school, the French primary school, kindergarten to grade six. This is a French school. This is their playground. It's a huge playground for a school. Oh, yeah. This is Verville Park. This is my favorite park in Elmer. I'm going to sit right here. This is where I'm going to talk to you guys. There's a nice wind over here. I'm going to sit down here. Ugh. Fucking tired. 
I will talk to you guys. My beer is here, but I'll save my beer for home. I bought my uh, my Diet Pepsi. I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys. Yeah. I'll talk about the transformation topic. And I'll also talk about uh, maybe Sky Source and that kind of stuff. They gave me two matches. Where's my other match? My other match fell down, fell off, didn't it? They gave me two free matches, and I, I lost my lighter, man. They gave me two free matches. Did I lose my other, other match? Yep, I lost my other match. Fuck. Fuck. I lost my other match, guys. I had this match still there. How much did the match cost you? Free, they didn't charge me anything for it. <laughs> I got the match for free. Nice wind over here. It's a beautiful place. Nice park, right? Not lighting, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, so yesterday I went on the treadmill for like, I was sleeping in, it was like one o'clock and I was gonna sleep in, I'm like, no Ivan, don't procrastinate, and I finally went on the treadmill yesterday. And I'm gonna take the day off because I'm really determined to lose this weight. I'm really determined to lose this weight, grow my dreads, get my teeth cleaned. I can make the appointment tomorrow. I'll ask for my stepfather for my health card. I can make the appointment tomorrow. I want to lose this weight. I want to lose this weight, Samzara. I want to lose this weight. <laughs> the Robert in the rat's face, she pisses me off. She fucking rejected me, man. Yeah, man. But I'm kind of forgetting about the chick. No, I still like Emmanuel, but I mean, so I mean, tells me I end up hanging out with this chick, I might end up forgetting about Emmanuel, but. Unless she really shows signs that she really likes me, then I might give her another chance. But if she says no a second time, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving you any more attention. It's over, man. You're too bad of a chick. I'm not going to let you do it like that, Samsara. It's so bright, I can't even see my... I can barely see my face on the phone. It's so bright. Obviously... All right, now how handsome you look when you lose the weight, like Jared Leto. That's how handsome I look. I look like Jared Leto, guys. Fucking handsome. Except I don't have I, I, I don't have the update look with the growing beauty, the full grown beard yet, but I still look handsome. As the, the Ivan that you see even when I lose the weight will look handsome, but he's not as handsome as the Ivan with the growing beauty. When he's king and his wife be with him. It's not the same Ivan. It's a different Ivan. It's like Jesus in the Bible is not the same Jesus after he comes back from rise from, rise from the dead. He's a different Jesus. He's a Jesus who can walk through doors. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he what? He's now, he has a glorified body in heaven. Yeah, that's the symbolism of me and Vichy, obviously. Once I come to come back to life, I get a, a, new, a, a new body. A new appearance. New features, yeah, an updated look because I set the whole thing up. And that look that you see when I'm king and queen, I'm always going to be 
that's the real Ivan Vigia. The Ivan Vigia you saw is not the real Ivan Vigia. That's the veiled, that's the veiled Ivan. Ivan. Just like the Jesus on Earth, when he when, when he when he did his ministry for a couple of years, that was the veiled Jesus. Obviously, because if Jesus came down, if Jesus came down to Earth as a glorified body, then he he wouldn't be able to die. He wouldn't be able to suffer any of that stuff. He had to come down truly as a man. Jesus in heaven in the Bible is still truly man, but he has a glorified body. He can no longer die. You see what I'm saying? So it's a new, it's a new Jesus. You see what I'm saying? He has light, glorious light around him. Yeah. In other words, had, had, had Jesus came down in a glorified body, the, 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 those, the, those, those, the what? The Pharisees wouldn't kill him. They would have known he's God, obviously. And he wouldn't be able to die on the cross and suffer for our sins, supposedly, right? Because the Bible's fancy. Yeah, that's my point. Is there? Yeah. So I'm sorry. That's why I want to lose his weight to rub it in the redhead's face. And if this other chick rejects me, I am done with the Coco Fruity chicks. I'm going to move on to Dinty's, um, Elmer Bar, perhaps. Elmer Bar, there's not... That chick, that hot bartender has a boyfriend, so I can't go for her. So Elmer Bar is pretty much off the limits, but I can go to Dinty's. I can go to St. Hubert's. Why are you going to go to St. Hubert's, Ivan? I want to go to St. Hubert's once I drop down the weight a little bit. I'm too fat right now. Once I hit maybe two... Two, in the 260s, I'll check out St. Hubert's. I want to drop a little bit of weight, then I'll check out St. Hubert's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's saying, yeah. I want to drop a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight, and I'll check out St. Hubert's, Denty's, and then Boston Pizza and Hall. I'm gonna go to Boston Pizza and Hall. And hopefully I get my first girlfriend. Can we keep you behind closed doors, Ivan? Yes. I'm not going to let you guys know. I'm only going to let you guys know if the chick rejects me. If the chick rejects me, I'm going to keep make a bunch of videos about my rejection. To, to, to throw it out there. They get what they deserve. If you reject me, I'm going to put you out there. I'm going to talk about how you rejected me. <clears throat> if they say yes, I keep it I keep it behind closed doors. I don't let anybody know. Uh. Obviously. You guys are messed up, I made you crazy fucking people. You don't want me dating one chick because you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So lose this weight, Ivan. Grow your dreads. Um, um, what? Get your teeth clean. My teeth are gross. Look how gross that is. It's gross, huh? I have gross teeth. You see the brownness on my teeth? It's disgusting, man. That's why I'm going to get it uh, touched up. 
cleaned up. Yep. Obviously, now let's talk about Skyrim Entertainment. Yeah. So Zay is out fund for $1.2 billion. And that all goes towards salaries, the documentary, and the budget for the movie. Obviously. And Peter Jackson will give some my top two cans to direct the movie. Peter, I'll pay him his four twenty five million royalties. Eighty five million base. And ninety million dollars of the merch royalties. I have one about double that. I'm like, Peter, no, I'm not gonna pay you double, you're fucking greedy. You're like you're a greedy pig. Because Peter's a billionaire, he's greedy. He wants a bigger chunk of the pie. He wants like a billion dollar deal. He's greedy. Obviously, I'm like, Peter, no, I'm not gonna pay you that. You're fucking greedy. 745 million you zone money. 750 million you zone money is enough. You're being greedy for your deal Ivan, yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> then Mel, I'll pay him two hundred million dollars of royalties for the movie box office. $35 million for the merch royalties and a $56 million base salary. So for Peter's base, I'll pay him his $10 million bonus for three years of pre-production work. That's a good deal for him. And then um, I'll ask Peter, do you want me to pay you $75 million for the, for the one year of shooting for production? Or do you want me to pay you $65 million and a $10 million bonus after? Peter's like, you might as well pay me the 75 million. Yeah, I might as well just pay the 75 million. I can pay Peter 75 million during the um, the one, I don't know, 11 months, one year of shooting. Because Peter will be doing dirty work, so we got to make sure he gets paid. Then Mel, you can offer him $40 million, $6 million bonus, or you pay him his $46 million for the one year of work. It's a good deal for Mel Gibson or Peter Jackson, some Sarah. And if you pay them that, they're going to work really hard for you because they're getting paid. And they know they're going to strike it rich. With the Peter knows he's gonna strike it rich with the royalties for the merchant movie. That's why he's 745 million deals a massive deal in New Zealand money. He knows he's gonna make his 400 plus million dollars every package will work hard, obviously. Let's tell the mic for Peter. Because he's greedy, he wants like 600 dollars in his bag. I'm like, Peter, I'm not gonna pay you that. You're fucking greedy, man. You're a greedy pig, some Sarah. I've wild Peter greedy because he's 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 big. Peter is one of the biggest directors in Hollywood. He's a billionaire. And he's used to making a lot of money. He's used to taking all the money for his movies. That's why he's greedy. And he knows the kind of money I'm going to make off the movie. So he wants to pick a chunk of that pie. This is an opportunity for me to, to strike it really, really rich. Like a billion dollar contract. He's greedy. But I'm not going to pay him that. Seven, 750 million New Zealand dollars is good enough for Peter. He's just greedy, obviously. Alive, and of course, it was some ideals. So he doesn't make that in Hollywood. His age will be high, but he doesn't make his own. That's a good deal for Peter, yeah. But he might perhaps be a bit pissed off because he wants more money. I'm like, if you're angry, you don't like this, you're more than welcome to work hard and make less money and be dirty. So you it's a deal, Ivan. Yeah, give a good deal. I'm sorry. Some Sarah. Yeah. I love the wind. Even though it's sunny outside, there's a nice wind breeze that's passing through here. Question who's better for the job? Peter and Mel, I don't know. They're both really, really good candidates. That's why it's tough to choose between the two directors. Obviously. But somebody tells me I might go for Mel Gibson, but I might end up going for Peter. Because Peter's if Peter can do what he did for Lord of the Rings, he might be the better guy. But if Mel can do what he did for Passion of Christ and Hacksaw Ridge, he's also really and Braver, he's also really good for the for the job too. That's why it's tough. Test their creativity. See who's better for the job. I 
I have your chain smoker, yes. I'm a chain smoker. I can smoke like 10 smokes straight. <laughs> the reason why I smoke is because of stress, man. The keys is, I, 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 I hate these keys. It's really annoying having an open mind 24 seven. And what? The DJ's mess, me having to die, me having to, 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 to get my book edited, me having to face the gatekeepers around the world. As Ivan Amaro will be fighting all the most powerful men in the world. One man versus an army of, of what? An army of fucking powerful people. Like, what I mean, like, something like the mafia, something fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the symptom in the Bible. Jesus fought all the demon. When Jesus hung on the cross, he, he, what? He was fighting all the demonic horde. In hell and on earth, yeah. All the demonic horde he was fighting, obviously. And when he died, he disarmed all the powers of darkness. Just like when I die, I beat the, I physically beat all the gatekeepers in the world, and I, I'm now king. I have the control. The gatekeepers will still own the financial system in the world, but they, but, but, but they don't, but they, they no longer have full control, because because Ivan's now king. Obviously, I'm now king, and I have the keys to the kingdom, as I now have the control. They still control the finances around the world, obviously, but I'm now king. I'm, I'm I have control over my own money, and because I have the keys, and me, me equals financial control, obviously, for Ivan O'Meara and VJ. And the gatekeepers don't want me making. They don't want Ivan and Vijay to make their fifteen billion, fifteen billion dollars, ten billion dollars in movies. No, they want me and Vijay to make our twenty million, our two hundred million rolls because they're greedy and they want to take all my money, all our money because we're greedy people. They want to take every, they want to suck every penny dry from me, and Vijay. You're already making your high, you know, your tens of billions, hundreds of billions every year, and you make a big fuss over making ten billion off my book because they're crazy people. Yo, Ivan, mean, because you piss me off. I don't want you to be fucking smoke a hot and be with your heart. That's why fresh, fresh beach all to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're full grown beach, you're up to your look, and you being a billionaire living that life. We want you to be sabotaged worth like $100 million. Those are crazy people. We want to control your money. Those are crazy. They're greedy people. Let's see. Even though Peter's greedy, he's not as greedy as the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers are greedy animals. The point where they locked everything on me. Those are crazy people, yeah. That's why God gave me the keys. Ivan, you have to own your own your own IP. Hence why you and you, and you have to open your own door if you want to make your own money. Because the gatekeepers will never let you touch their money unless you sell to them. That's why God gave me the keys. That's why I can hold my own door. I don't have to sell them. Easy money for Ivan. I upload something. Everyone around the world after like two minutes, everyone around the world is instantly aware. <laughs> it's power, man. Easy money, man. Yeah, it's so easy for me. You know what I'm saying? Me and VJ's mind are like what's well, like a Wi-Fi. It's like a Wi-Fi signal going around all around the world. We upload something.